YouTube. Here is a very big book haul. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks, but today I have a huge book haul, at least huge for me, and the bulk of it is in this big box. And this is a box that I um, sent to myself while I was in Alaska. I sent it to here. I sent them uh, media mail, so it didn't cost that much. From Alaska to Florida, it cost just under $11. That's pretty good. And it's all books because it can't be anything but printed media. So, also, <laughs> I have been shopping at Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of books there and then I ordered two books. So, shall we get into this? Let's do it. I've opened a lot of boxes lately. If you could see this house, oh my goodness. And that was hard. First, whoo, this is a birthday present I got from my daughter. She knows I love R2D2. I love Star Wars in general. And every time, every time you hit this, it's a different. It's actually, um, it tells you how to speak droid and it's a board book. So it's got all of the phonetic spellings of all the beeps and buzzes and it's just very cute. It's a cute thing to get. Because my birthday was while I was in Alaska. I got Empress of a Thousand Skies. This is by Rhoda Beleza and this is YA fantasy. And I was thrilled to find it. It seems like I started this book and I didn't get into it or something. But when I saw it, apparently, I thought it was what I wanted to have. Wasteland, Stories of the Apocalypse, featuring Octavia E. Butler, George R. R. Martin, Orson Scott Card, Stephen King, Jonathan Lethem, Latham, uh, Gene Wolfe, and many others. This is a collection of short stories. I love survival stories of the apocalypse. So I saw this and I thought, ooh, that's gonna be good. I'm pretty sure I got most of these at Value Village, which is in uh, Canada and Alaska. Far From You by Lisa Schroeder. This is just a beautiful cover and it says, do you believe in angels? This just looked good. Angels, I think it's YA and pretty cover. I actually got two copies of this book. One's for Lisa, one's for me. Uh, when I was there at the bookstore, I said, I took a picture of it and I said, hey, what do you think of this? And she said, oh, that looks really interesting. So yeah, she gets one too. Frederick Bachman, my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. I love Frederick Bachman. I have really uh, fallen in love with his writing with Beartown and then also with a man called Uba. You know, when I saw it, it's not in the greatest shape. It's got some corners that are turned up, but I thought, you know what? I was so happy to find it. I was, you know, I actually found two copies of this and I gave one to my mom because she also read A Man Called Uba and she loved it. So she got one too. Let's see, Before a Million Universes by T.W.R. Shelton. Um, this says, winged creatures are falling from the sky, untruths are surface, surfacing, a city is dying, 17-year-old Maxwell Odyssey never wanted to save the world, but now she has no choice. Okay, how could I pass that up? Plus it's in beautiful shape, and I bet you this is self-published. Yeah, I bet it is. Um, Blue Siren Books. I don't know, maybe not, but I bet it is. So it just looked good. My kind of thing. Okay. This is Touched by Sin Balog, trading one future for another. And I'm sure when I saw this, I was thinking, time travel, this is in perfect shape. Wow. Nothing on the back, no stickers or anything, no remainder marks, wow. Nick Cross always listens to the voice in his head because if he doesn't, things go really, really wrong. Okay, I'm gonna stop there, but yeah, this looked interesting. Let's see. Lies Beneath is by Anne Greenwood Brown and look at that cover. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. 
I listened to this on audio. It's narrated by McLeod Andrews. I really loved the audio. It's an interesting story. It's a very angry story about mermaids that have had it with humans. <laughs> and so yeah, um, you know what? It's been a long time since I listened to this. And so yeah, it's blurbed by Gretchen McNeil and she wrote another book that I really liked. I remember reading it five stars. A Charmed Life by Jenny B. Jones. This is, I think it's a bind up, includes three novels, Not So Not Happening, I'm So Sure, and So Over My Heart. I have listened to one book by Jenny B. Jones and I really, really liked it. So um, when I saw this, and it's three books in one, uh, I thought, well, yeah. So um, I think this has happened in transit but I'm okay with that because I'll put it in the, on the shelf and that'll straighten itself out, so. YA Contemporary. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This is, is this book one? I forget which book this is. I can tell you, I'm pretty sure it's narrated by T Tavia Gilbert um, on audio. And I don't know if this is book one. I think it might be. Yeah, this is book one in her, what is this called? The series is called the Firebird series. This is YA fantasy having to do with alternate worlds and that was my jam. So yeah, and plus beautiful cover. And has a lot to do with Russia. Kind of a tragic love story, but it continues on and it just gets good and better and better and better. Okay, six months later. This is by Natalie D. Richards. I have read this. Did I buy this at Dollar Tree? I think I might have. Um, but anyway, this is about, this is YA Contemporary, about a girl who, um, she is sitting in class. She puts her head down on her desk and when she wakes up, she falls asleep, and when she wakes up, it is six months later. So it's all about what happened. And it's a big mystery and it's pretty good. I, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it's about a three, three and a half star book. So we're definitely worth the read. Why a contemporary? Bit of a mystery. Okay, Ghost Flower by Michelle Jaffe. This I've seen actually at Ollie's quite a few times and never picked it up, but you know, it was 99 cents. Her other book, Rosebush, right there you can kind of see looks really interesting and I think this is a YA mystery. It started like a fairy tale but it became a ghost story so maybe it's paranormal. I don't know but I'm sure it has to do a little bit with a mystery. Yeah anyway yeah that looked good. Uh, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society. I used to have this book. Oh this is by Marianne Schaefer and Annie Barrows and I used to have this book and it was not a very good copy, so I ended up, um, I think I unhauled it. And I found two copies of this, and I gave one to my mom. My mom read like three books while she was in Alaska, and she normally gets maybe, I don't know, one book every three months read. So anyway, I told her it was good. She really liked it, really, really liked it. And it is on audio. This is um, adult. I guess you'd call it literary fiction or historical fiction. It is set around the time of World War II. So um, yeah, I think it's some women who write to each other. It's an epistolary novel novel in that it's told in um, letters. So anyway, my mom really liked it. And if she liked it, I'm probably gonna like it too. And the last book I got in Alaska, I had to call around for this. I found out that one of my favorite authors, Eowyn Ivy, lives in a town in Alaska that was about an hour north of where I was in Anchorage. And so I called the bookstore there because she used to work at the bookstore there. And I called them and I said, do you have any signed copies of Eowyn Ivy's new book? And they said, mm, we'll check. And then they said, no. So then I called the bookstore called Title Wave that's in Anchorage and it is new books and used books. I think you can bring your books in and they'll give you money for them. Um, kind of like half price books here in the US. And I said, is there any possibility you have a signed copy of you and Ivy's new book? And they said, yes, we do. So I picked it up. 
to the bright edge of the world is what it's called. This is a beautiful hardback. It was pricey. Well, no, I guess it wasn't that pricey. It was $15, so it could have been a lot more. And um, it is signed, believe it or not. See? How cool is that? Now, my mom, immediately, I said, you need to read this and tell me if you like it. And she said, yes, she did. It is set in the... Uh, late 1800s, 1885, and it's about a man who goes on an expedition to um, see or map or something in Alaska, and his wife that is behind, who he leaves behind, and she is pregnant with their child, so it's all, it's, I don't know, some of it is letters, I think, and uh, yeah, it's really more historical than anything, but I love her, her book, um, The Snow Child, which I thought was fabulous. Uh, five star read for me a couple of winters ago. So if you like Alaska, yeah, she writes well about Alaska. Okay, so that's all the books from Alaska. Now I will show you all the books from Dollar Tree that I've been buying. Torn Away is by Jennifer Brown. This is, um, I, hear sh I could hear shouting, screaming, and crying, glass breaking, and then I heard nothing but the drone of sirens outside my window. So this is about storms, uh, tornadoes, and uh, Jersey is the main character, and she uh, is getting over the loss of what she lost in the tornado. So that could be good. I just, you know, I pick these up and I think, it's a dollar. Now it looks good, so I'm gonna head. The Epidemic is by Suzanne Young, and I have the other books in this series. So since I have the other books, and they're all signed, I thought I would pick this one up too. They are The Program, The Treatment, The Remedy, and now The Epidemic. So I don't know if this is a prequel. It might be, I don't know. When I read it, I'll let you know, I can't remember. Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters is by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters. It's part of this whole series that's going on. So I thought actually my daughter Michaela would like this. She likes that kind of thing. Spindle is by E.K. Johnston and it uh, is, she also wrote A Thousand Nights, which I can't remember if I read that or not. Uh, but she also wrote um, exit pursued by a bear I think and I read that I didn't love it but this is not that kind of a book that was more like contemporary and this of course is um, magical kind of fantasy so um, it says there are corners of the world that are too dark to see and there are edges that are sharper than they appear ready to snag the unwary so yeah beautiful cover I thought it looked good so there you go Miss Mayhem is by Rachel Hawkins, and it is, I believe it is the third uh, in the Rebel Bell series. And so I was pretty sure I got the second book. When I picked this up, I thought, oh shoot, do I already have that book? But I don't think so. I think in another Dollar Tree haul, I got the second book. So I haven't read the series. It's YA, hmm, kind of superheroes. But, you know, people rave, especially about the first book, about how funny it is. And I don't know about the whole series, but... Yeah, I'm willing to give it a try. Speaking of Alaska, I got Until the Beginning. I was really thrilled to find this because I have After the End, which is set in Alaska. It has a lot of Native American kind of influences in it. And uh, so this is the sequel. It's by Amy Plum. And I really liked After the End. And I actually liked this too. And so I've read it already, but I, now I have the duology. So, and it's beautiful. It's in perfect condition. Hardback, yes, I'm all about that. Silo is by DJ McHale, and I'm pretty sure this is post-apocalyptic or sci-fi. I think it's sci-fi, YA. And I'm pretty sure it's YA. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. But it's part of the series, I know that. And I've seen it a lot around and I've just never picked it up. So for a dollar, I thought, yeah, I think I will. Look how pretty this cover is, yeah. Dove Exiled is by Karen Bow. Now, this is part of the series and I did not like the first book. It was Dove or Rising, I think. But the reason I bought this is that I have a 
book swap coming up in uh, December and I thought mm, that's gonna be one of the ones that goes out in my advent exchange so that's why I bought it um, I don't know maybe I should give this another try it was that the narrator on the first book I just didn't like it um, it was who was it it wasn't Emily Wu Zeller it was somebody somebody else that I know another narrator that has a really high little girl kind of voice which is very appropriate for the character I don't know maybe I'll give that another try some other time those are the Dollar Tree books that I haven't read yet and so let me go on Deadly Design is by Deborah Doctor this is YA sci-fi and I really liked it I really did I talked about it in one of my Friday reads so if you want to know which one that was I will look it up and put it in the description box but I really enjoyed that one and then I'm reading this currently it is a matter of days by Amber Kaiser and this is narrated on audio by Alex McKenna and it is um, YA post-apocalyptic so yeah it's going pretty well I haven't picked it up in a couple of days so I am switching from the audio to the print book because I I will explain that in a wrap-up but yeah anyway I love this kind of thing I eat it up a book that was given to me recently was you're the one that I want by Giovanna Fletcher I hated this book and it's gonna leave my house fairly soon to someone else that may enjoy it more than I did it was adult romance and then I was at Sam's Club the other day, and I found this book, which I do already own, but it's not signed, and this was signed. It's, Car it's The Fates Divide, which is the sequel to Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. And uh, you know what? I can never pass up a signed copy, especially when, uh, well, even if I own another copy of it so that's nice because I can use that in my advent exchange the other one so I really liked this duology Carp of the Mark a lot of people had mixed op opinions about it but I think that was because she had such success with Divergent and people I don't think this was what they were expecting but I loved it it is YA sci-fi and I just I loved it or fantasy probably I don't know it had, it's like fantasy with sci-fi elements but I loved it I I'm just gonna leave it at that I loved it and now I'm signed copy okay this is a book I ordered um, because I got a $100 uh, gift card from a friend of mine um, I made her wedding gown so she sent me a hundred oh god this is beautiful she sent me a hundred dollar gift card for Amazon because I just did it you know she's a good friend uh, she's the daughter of a very very close friend of mine so I just said don't worry about it I'll do it and it was very inexpensive and then she sends me this gift card and I'm like okay well bring on the books so this is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and this is adult sci-fi but it's alternate worlds oh my gosh I love this book so much and this is a hardcover copy yes uh, this is available um, in paperback and it's also on audio and I listened to the audio and I loved it but on in hardback it's harder to find and this was like three dollars I could not get over it I think I did pay for the shipping whereas with Prime you usually don't but okay six dollars for a book oh my gosh and it's beautiful this is a pristine condition. I mean, you know a book is in good condition when you can only open it easily about that far. Tight binding, yes. Okay, last book of the haul. Came from Amazon, of course, and there are people that can do this. You know who can do this really well is Vibka at uh, One Book, One Review. She'll just rip these things open. Like, <laughs> I can never get them quite to work you know you get halfway on down and yeah this one work. that worked I've been waiting for this one this is the book of M by Peng Shepard and I have been raving 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 about this book I loved it it was five stars it is post-apocalyptic um, adult fiction with a bit of magical realism or fantasy even um, in it I don't know you might even call it sci-fi although I wouldn't probably call it that 
It's narrated on audio by Emily Wuzeller and James Foey, and we are going to talk about it in the Deadly Divas live show, which is coming up this coming Friday. Actually, I believe it's July 29th at 8 p.m. on Lisa at Lisa's Books and Smiles, her channel. And uh, I will put links in the description box, so please come and join us because this is going to be a good discussion. There are people who didn't even finish this book, and then there are people like me that gave it five stars. So, oh my gosh, we're going to be all over the place with the discussion for this. So, I can't wait for the live show. So, that is my book haul. Lots of books. I haven't done a book haul in quite a while, so I need to get all of these into boxes and into storage. So I wanted to share them with you before I did. So yeah, if you've read any of the ones that I got at like Dollar Tree and or in uh, Alaska and I haven't read them yet, please tell me all about them. If there's one I should read first, if I should add it to my TBR at the very top, let me know because I always love knowing that you guys never steer me wrong. Seriously, there's stuff that you recommend to me and I think, oh, thank you so much. So anyway, that's it for now for me and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.